This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow my back here with another episode of Sly 4, Thieves in Time. In the last episode, we uh, got further along our journey in uh, the uh, Arabian Dream type setting with uh, them uh, finding, with Sly and them finding the rest of the, uh, well, the uh, friends of Selim. But uh, before we get back to that, let's finish off uh, gathering the treasures of the uh, prehistoric era that we, we only got like one last time I played. I think some of the layer maps I didn't even grab any or whatever, so... Let's start with this one. This one's the closest. As you can see, it's like right on the south edge, right over here. So, I think I saw this before, but I said I'd get it later or something like that. But you know, I think this is like a an egg or something like that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this in the first go. Yeah, dang it. Let me try one more time on screen. Because I think if you just run forward, I should be able to get it. I think so. Yeah, let me try it again. Yeah, if I can jump on this in time. Oh, come on! Really? Ah, oh, man, come on. There we go. Okay. Wasn't sure there for a second. Oh, the ruby crystal, huh? Well then. All right. Well, one of many to get to go down so far, so we'll go keep going on. All right. Here's the next one. The I don't know, like the stone wheel or whatever. Over here, right to the west of uh, the hideout near the grizzly face or whatever, or the statue of Grizz. I don't know if I ever pointed out the fact that there's like quite a few statues of Grizz like all over the place. Like one there, one in the background there. Hey, get out of here! Get out of here, Dodo! You're extinct now. We don't need you here. Anyway, let's see if we're gonna get this. Probably the easiest way is to probably. Where is the? Yeah, probably jump on that thing right there. Luckily, I have the. Uh, since I have that dash ability, it definitely helps with the uh, speed. I do have a need for speed. Yeah, well, as long as I'm a. Uh, Focusing and go straight there. I should get it. I think it does make it easier as soon as you unlock the um, As soon as you unlock that like little trick the speed the speed dash or whatever you want to call it. So Anyway onward to more treasure All right, here's the one I tried showing on screen before but I missed I didn't get like multiple times in a row. So let's see if we can do it uh, this time Because mm. last time I'd go down that way across that I wonder if that is the fastest way to to get it. Well, we'll try it again. See if, uh, sorry if I'm being, like, slightly quiet. I'm just making sure I... Huh? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Ooh. The dino egg, I think. Yep. <sighs> yeah, if I didn't have that speed thing, I probably wouldn't have gotten there because of my little mess up, so... 
Onward, next destination, a painting. All right, here's the next one, the uh, cave painting or whatever. Can you, can't really tell who's on it. It looks like some ancient. Oh no, it's like it's like um oh not Cleopatra uh the uh, Mona Lisa but with like a fox on it. I'm not maybe. Anyway, it's uh, underneath the. If you go to this part here, there's like a little cave you can go underneath it. I'll show you on the way as I grab this one. I think I remember this one being kind of hard to get over there. Like, you need to take advantage of the, uh... I think it's up ahead. Yeah, the... Uh, wow, dang it! Come on, man. Yeah, you need the... Need this to get there in time. I don't know if it's the only way to get there, but... Oh, come on! Oh my god! You stupid freaking mushroom. Ah! Dang, that was... Oh, I thought this was the cave pain. Never mind, that's that's a different item. I guess I looked up the wrong one. The uh... oh well, whatever. That's still. I mean, that's one painting. I was thinking that there's there's another painting that's just a cave painting, and that's the one I. Oh well, I still got a hard one early, so there you go. Anyway, on to the other cave painting. All right, here's the next treasure. I think I actually already got the cave painting from before, so I'm just gonna go down the line. So because I couldn't find it, I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I got it already. Uh, yeah, it's over here next to that, like, tail, like, bone in the river or whatever, as you can see. You go near the vine or whatever. So, let's see. Mm, yeah, probably getting on the vine's probably going to be the fastest, so. Alright, let's get the skull. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? No. <laughs> uh, excuse me, not quite. Oh, man. Not the... I, I don't hate that movie, but it's definitely not as good as the other um Indiana Jones movies let me tell you it's it's definitely not on the same level um but I don't hate it with a oh uh, I probably could have just ran around it as fast as I could but yeah I don't, I don't hate that movie it just um, I think there are some good things in it but um, well maybe for another time I'll talk about that maybe if I ever play an Indiana Jones game but uh anyway on to the next treasure um I think a vase would be the the vase will be perfect. It's made just for me. All right, folks. This next uh, treasure is a little bit uh, tricky to get to, just because of like how you had to jump on. So you need to get to the um, like nest here, or whatever you want to call it, and then we need to get over to that skull over there. I don't know, you can barely see it, but there's a uh, treasure in its mouth. So let's see if we can get to it. Hopefully, we get enough oomph in this. Uh, this. Okay. Yeah. We just have to be high enough. Oh boy. All right. Let's see. Fastest. Yeah, probably catching, catch some waves, Bill and Ted. No, um, that might be the easiest way to get to this is by doing that. Might just ride them all the way to the. Uh, that's gonna be close. Okay, good. Wasn't sure. All right, we got ourselves a vase. It's just for us. Now at this point, I think we have to start getting the like the funky treasures, the ones that you have to like do like weird stuff to get to. So let's get to it. Time to put on that the old archer outfit to get to this one. All right, for this one you need to use a bit of uh, finagling with the archer outfit as well, do, doing multiple jumps to get to it. So that's right. Uh, the starting point. Well, I mean, starting point is right here next to this waterfall on the map that I showed you. So. I think I showed this where this was before, but um, now we're actually going to utilize it now that we've got the William Tell outfit or Robin Hood or whatever you want to call it. No, whoops. Forgot I had the Sabretooth costume on from before, a previous thing. All right. Yeah, as far as I know, I mean, you could probably glitch out getting this without using the the Archer outfit, but it, it's more annoying to do that anyway, so might as well just... Uh, um, might as well just do it legit like this. Save you some headache. Yeah, like you can, like you could try to jump from the point to this, but uh, yeah, a bit silly. Boom! And since it's like right next to the hideout, hopefully it gives us at least a somewhat decent amount of time to to get to the hideout. Well, you know what I mean, like like ten seconds or something like that. And I think this is is that t oh, like a skull, like a. 
This is a kid's game, man. No. Uh, yeah, as long as you don't mess around too much, you should be able to get to it. Yep, T-Rex skull it is, man. Alright. Now with that, on to the next, uh, comp well, I guess I wanted to say comp kid, puzzle-ish type treasure. How about some, uh, how about some skates? Okay, on this treasure, we need to go near the northern waterfall, like, way back here. Where this, like, jumping platform is and whatever. Um, we can, we need to use the jailbird or, you know, rockadoodle outfit or, I don't even know what I call it, rockadoodle. We need to, we need to smash it with a hammer. And also, this is where the, the Mona Lita would have been down that way, by the way, for those who are curious. So, yeah, the, the areas that require multiple costumes for these parts. Whee! Yeah, the pounce technique. Use... Come on. It wasn't letting me do it. Come on, game. There you go. I was like, why would you let me do it? Why are you being a jerk? Ta-da! I don't know how uh, I don't know how Grizz's skates got over here somehow, but uh, they did. Wait, couldn't we have gotten these like a lot? Because we don't, we only need the saber tooth outfit to get that. So how would he? Yeah, whatever. Maybe they're an early version of the skates, you know, something like that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, the problem with this one is yeah, like getting the. Um... <sighs> Come on. Yeah, it's like it uh, it wouldn't activate. Oh, probably because the power wasn't active on it or something. Oh, this one's going to be, hmm. I'm going to have to use the paraglider for this, maybe. Ah, oh, you, I, you know, I, had a, I had a feeling he was going to do something like that. I was trying, but yeah, oh, well, actually, I know why it didn't let me do the abilities, because my uh, power gauge was out or whatever. Oh, I hate, I hate fighting these guys with Sly. Because he's not, I mean, he's be it's better to fight those guys with Murray than it is Sly because of, a uh, um, because of his power, just straight up power, so. So you have to, like, yeah, you have to wait for the gauge to fill up. So there's a bit of time already lost there, so, which is a bit obnoxious. Alright, we'll try it one more time on the screen. If not, then I will, um, see you at the completed... Oh, come on. Yeah, trying to get them to s activate. Yeah, isn't that... I mean, I have... Uh, what, I, I swear I had slides, like, completed, uh... Or, fill, uh, like, fill-up gauge quicker ability, but maybe I don't. Hmm. I'll have to double-check. If I don't succeed on this one, I'll have to double-check that on, on screen and see if I... Let's see. No, I'm, I should be able to get to this as long as I can... There we go. Okay. Wasn't sure if I could get to this without... I guess that's the point. Maybe they gave you just a little bit of extra time to... So you could get... So you could... Because of the gauge fill up, so... Alright. Well, the next step is to... Or... N n I, what the? I won! You... You don't have to bug me anymore, Dodo! Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, next treasure is... Uh, we're gonna have to get the key! Okay, here's the step for the next treasure right here. As you can see, it's underneath a like bridge area over to the west map. Uh, I think I showed this one a uh, one as well because I wasn't sure like what at the time I didn't know what it actually did. Um, th you can get here, you can get to this treasure another way as well. I mean, you could just paraglide and then just luckily jump into the water with one of these tails and get to this too. But anyway, gotta have the thief costume for this, so. Same thing as a lot of the other ones like this. You just need to um, slow down time and get to it. Hopefully we have enough. Looks like we have enough ability to do it, so. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? I... <sighs> Come on, man. Game, you're, you're, showing, you're showing how crappy I am at playing these games. You know, you know that, aren't don't you? Anyway. Try it again. First time's the charm, right? Or I guess third time's the charm. But you know, you always want to, you always want to show off the first time. Otherwise, 
There we go. Oh, it almost closed on me. All right. Yep, there's the key to this thing. So probably the fastest way is to not even... Well, yeah, probably not even get to the... Not even don the saber tooth, but go the other way. Yeah, too bad slowing down time really doesn't, doesn't uh, affect the actual timer of this. And I've actually tried it before just to see if I could get it to work. I tried to see if maybe I could... Uh, um, trick it or something like that and get it to uh, go, but nope. Uh-oh. This one might be a bit... A bit uh, close with this uh, sky on my tail. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that was actually... They gave you a lot of time on that one. I guess maybe they did think you were going to go straight back to the... Uh, um, you were going to go straight back to the... Uh, <laughs> Through the saber tooth place or something like that, or saber tooth way, and said, I was like, nope, that that weighs for chumps. All right, wait, did he really follow after me? That? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you are you are you serious? Are you serious? Anyway, all right. So uh, next one is a we got we got to get ourselves to the club. Boom. Choo -choo 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 -choo. All right, for this next treasure, uh, easiest way to find is just the geyser from this. Uh, this area right here. You know, the one we've been using to get a lot of the other treasures. So if we go down this way... I think I sh might have shown off where this was. I just couldn't... If I didn't do anything or couldn't do anything with it at the time. So let's put on the Robin Hood outfit. There's another treasure, like, right in this general vicinity as well. But we'll come back to get that after, after we do this one, of course. Yep, hidden into the lavas, where all good creatures lay, or lay, I don't know. Looks like something out of like an Indiana Jones movie or something like that. Dun, 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 dun. Man, another reference to Indiana Jones. I don't know why I have that on the brain right now. I need to watch it, I need to sit down and watch it, maybe do that this holiday or something like that, so. Anyway. Oh right, this is the samurai outfit. I was like, what is this for a second? I wonder why the one, I guess it only shoots uh, rocks at you if you actually switch the outfit because it wasn't shooting stuff at me before. So anyway, we get the spiked club. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to use the geyser for this one. So hopefully I can get to it. There's probably a faster way to get to this or whatever, but yeah. Let's see where are you yeah, over here. I'm just gonna skip. I'm just gonna skip jumping on that mushroom. I don't. I can get there just as fast without it. Otherwise, I'll mess up or something like that. So. All right, this club is ours. And yeah, if we just go back to the um, previous spot, actually, I'll just I'll just show you. It's like. It's not that hard to get back to it now. I know directly where it is, but... Um, yeah, the final treasure, I believe... I'll have to double-check after this one, but I believe we've found them all. Uh, this one, we just go past the geyser forward and switch to the... the... Uh, Elvis one. Elvis outfit. No. Uh, you know, Jailhouse Rock, anyone? No? Okay. Anyway, yeah, we just use the rollerball ability and... Uh, Oh, I have to hit it. For a second, I was like, what do I do? And this is the... I don't know. It looks like some kind of statue of some sort. Whoops. Oh, it's it's Daxter from Jack and Daxter. That's right. I forgot they would, uh... They would, um... The guys from... Uh, see, it was Sucker Punch, Insomniac, and uh, Naughty Dog Studios at the time would put references in their own games because they were kind of similar games but not quite you know what i mean and they kind of respected each other now all the studios are like completely different beasts by this point but that's another tale so anyway let's see if we can get to the base oh whoops probably should wait until until i got here but yeah unfortunately well two of the studios have done okay well i mean they've all done okay well like i said i'd best not to dwell on on negative things you know in this in this uh, gameplay, you know what I mean? Best not to make myself sad. Okay. 
Yeah, luckily I actually got the mushroom on the, the right go this time, so. Yep, the da the Luttrell Navidensis? I don't even know what that means. All right, let me see if I, I think I got them all, didn't I? I and it could have been uh, the only one, if I hadn't got them all, I think the only one I might have missed is the, uh, um, would have been the K penny, but I believe I got that one, so. And didn't it say I grabbed all the treasures as well? I think so. Oh, yep, I sure did. All right, let's do it. Oh, uh, yep, our, our treasure thing's looking better and better, baby. Actually, I think this one, I think this one you can get the treasure like, or the mask. Yeah, because we need to get the mask like we always do. I think the mask is like right there. Like it's right near the, um, near the beginning part of it, I recall. All right, what game is it this time? Because I've, I've always forgotten like what the games are by this point. Sorry, I'm just looking up. Um... I'm just making sure where it is where it is, so... Yeah. I think it said it was like... Uh, I thought I was supposed to hit like... There it is, okay. Yeah, you, uh... Oh, well. Actually, I'll try to, I'll try to beat it. Um, I think you have to hit all four of the... Um, I think you have to hit all four of the things for it to pop up, but yeah, it was... Alright, let's see if we can actually beat this one. Alright, so I'm not... Because the main thing was to show you the, um... Getting the... Ah, oh, man. I wonder if it's just the controller's not super sensitive. It is an older controller. Nuts. I'll try a couple more tries on screen, but... Like I said, this... These requires are to get the treasures. Uh, the beat of the minigame is, is, is minute at best. Because I didn't even I didn't even try to finish the uh, the tank one. Oh, why did I do that? I'm having a bad time grabbing the. the <laughs> Man, I'm not I'm not doing well at all. I mean, I guess my skills are pretty rusty. I just I usually blade the controller first before. There's a glare on the screen, you know, type of thing. Kind of reminds me of a friend of mine. Uh, I think it was like he wasn't doing well at Mario Kart 64, I think it was, and he blamed the computer, or he blamed the screen being glary. Man, I just, I am not doing well on this. Um, but uh, it was just funny. You know, you know, kids, well, actually, we were teenagers. What am I talking Why do I keep saying kid when we were, like, pretty old when we were, well, I mean, okay, maybe not old in the grand scheme of things, but we were, we're not, we weren't kid. Really? Man, I am not a. I am just not a. Not doing too hot on this today. I was hoping to at least beat beat one of the in this level. I don't know. If, oh, I I almost stopped caring there for a second because I was like, oh, all right, never mind. Then I can't. I sorry. I thought I'd fallen over. So. Well, at least we got past the first part, or whatever you want to call this. I wonder how many levels are out of this. Oh, okay. I was like, why am I going the, the other way? I was like, oh, because of the, the way it works. Ah, dang it. I pushed it too soon. Oh, oh that sucks. I want to at least try to see if I can beat this this first stage. Although, it that might be it because you saw that it only said like a thousand on it. So it's probably just this section specifically. You know, so it's probably only one, one area. Stay on target. Stay on target. Wow. No, anyway. Try it again. Go, 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 go! Oh my god. <laughs> Man, I don't think I'm ever gonna. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna get to the end of this thing on this route. Although I don't want to. I don't want the episode to be super, super like half of it me, me trying to beat the arcade game. You know. I wonder if maybe there's some sen too much sensitivity on this or not. Like I feel like sometimes it just goes a little, little weird. 
Yeah, what do I do, right? Maybe I'm just trying to go too fast. Maybe that's it. Yeah, on that one you have to be careful, otherwise you'll you'll uh, research yourself back. There we go. Yeah, maybe. I, oh, oh no! Come on. Oh no no no! Ah! I wonder if I was almost there. Well, I haven't even gotten past. I haven't even gotten like the 500 thing. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things where you almost get so close, you just wanna, you wanna just try and see if you can do it. You probably had to get every single um, um, time thing to get a, to get like a really good score. But uh, there's no like, there's no, there's like no achievements, no trophies or anything like that. So you only really do it if you really want to. You know, if you wanna just show off to your friends. You know, like, hey, I got a thousand in that built uh, that a Sly Cooper game where. You know, and everyone's like, what? Who cares about scores anymore? No one does. Not since, uh, not since Lucas from, uh, The Wizard, you know? Or not Lucas. Alright, well, I guess. Yeah, don't, uh, oh, by the way, don't look up what happened to the actual kid from, uh, uh, with The Wizard. Uh, not pretty. That's, a, that's the sad thing about getting older. Well, that's the sad thing about getting older is that finding out, like, what happens to certain people after after certain movies or whatever, and you're like, Ew. You're like, I wish I didn't know about that. Not good. Oh well. Unfortunately, it's, it, like, actually, I, you know, I'm not even gonna, I don't even know why I mention it. Forget about it. Don't even look it up. I, uh, I mean, look up something else completely different, like cats and, uh, dogs and everything like that. Or history about Sly Cooper or something like that. I was actually about to mention something else, like another sad tale, but I'm like, I am not mentioning that on this video at all. No sirree, Bob. No, no, no. It make me too sad. And I usually don't get super sad about things. All right. Come on, you've got this. You've got this Bentley bear. Oh no, no, I have enough time. I didn't grab enough uh, clocks. Come on, get down there. No, no, ah, yeah, nuts. Well, I made the I made the high score. I think that's all I can ask for. So, all right. Oh, anyway, I'll just just do AA or whatever. So we'll call it. All right. Oh, I'm not. That, that's fine. I don't need to finish it. <laughs> I just want to see how far. I mean, I probably could have beaten it, but I probably was near the end. I wouldn't be surprised. The fact that I actually hit the high score things thing means I was probably like right there. But. I'm not that. I'm not one of those people that has to like show everything or do stuff like that. I'm like, oh, if I don't get it, oh well. It's not a. It's not a. Not a high priority. So. All right. Yep. The game has been a lot, and we've gotten all the masks and secrets of this place. Oops. For some reason, it wasn't moving. So. All right. Just to show off that I've gotten. Hundred percent of the. Uh, that, as you can see, yep, hundred percent, hundred percent. That one I can't hundred percent until I actually beat the game because you have to unlock that era. Because there's two versions of the final era of the game, but I'll probably do that at the time when I unlock that the final stage of the game. So, anyway, with that done, um, in the next episode, a Sly Four Thieves in Time, we'll go back to the Arabian Dream and uh, tackle the next set of quests on our way to uh, uh, beating the uh, Trumpet Lady. There, yeah, I know, I already forgot her name again. <laughs> It's not my fault. I, I played this like a week ago, man. Don't blame me. Yep, look at that awesome treasure. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.